Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today I'm gonna go metallic and I've not done a diptych in a while. So I'm gonna do two canvases and I'm gonna use copper and black as the base. So I'm gonna do a split base on a diptych and I'm just gonna use some silver, some gold and some white. So a very simple classic palette. Let's get going because I can't wait to see what we can create. I have already painted my sides and all my paints are mixed with just water. So a paint and water consistency, one part paint to one part water. Sides are already painted. So I'm gonna layer the base now with the copper and the black. One thing that I really love about the copper is you'll see as I'm blowing it out, there's almost like a texture to it, almost like a movement within that paint as you blow it. And that's what I really love about that kind of color. I love to see some of those lines and some of the texture as you blow it out across your base. Now, I've sped this video up just so you don't get bored. But what I'd advise is as you're doing your base coat, just make sure you get a consistent layer across the base. I always say if you can get your base coat right, then the rest just flows. But as always, just really enjoy being in the moment and really feeling and watch that paint as it glides across the canvas as you use your blow dryer. So the copper's done, and now I'm gonna focus on my black. Again, I'm just gonna blow the paint across the canvas with my blow dryer. It's on a cool setting and it's on the lowest setting possible. That just helps me control the paint as it glides and blows across the canvas. I'm actually really loving this color combination as a base. And I'm really pleased that I decided to do a split base with these colors. So now I'm going to apply the other colors, the white, the gold and the silver, just directly across the middle of those pieces to bring those two base colors together. I'm literally just taking one colour at a time and I'm slowly just pouring the paint from my cup onto the surface of the canvas. The white's gone directly in the middle and then I've placed the silver against the copper colour. And then I'm going to place the gold against the black. I'm going to add a little bit more base colour down and then I'm going to blow all the colours into one before blowing out the design. So when I blow this out, I am expecting to create some cells. That's because I'm using a white titanium and I'm also using metallic colors. 
And I always find if I use that kind of color combination with just paint and water, it's hopefully gonna create some gorgeous cells and lacing. So fingers crossed, as soon as I blow this out, I'll be able to show you some of that detail. I'm just using my blowtorch to get rid of any of the air bubbles. I've recently mixed my paints up so there's more air bubbles than normal, but by using this torch I can get rid of those. So now for the fun part. As you can see I'm blowing my base colour over my other colours with my blow dryer before I then look at the full creation and start blowing out the design. I'm going to do one canvas at a time and I'm just gonna blow from the, the edge to the center to the other edge. I'm then going to stretch that paint out a little bit more, but as you can see, it's already creating some gorgeous cells and some great detail. I almost want the ends to be a little bit more wispy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to my second canvas. I'm gonna blow out the center of that first, and then I'm gonna really look at the composition and the edges. I think what I'm gonna do is have very little negative space, and I'm going to ensure that the design can be blowed right out across and down each of the sides and the edges. I'm just going to do this middle part first on the second one, and then I will step back look at the overall design, and then continue blowing out with my dryer. So now I'm really happy with the middle part, I'm just gonna work on each of the other edges. I'm gonna blow the paint down a little bit more because I want less negative space and I really want that paint to be very wispy on each of the sides. The detail is really in the middle. The eye is drawn into the middle because there's all those color combinations and some of that detail from the cells and the lacing. And then the eye can be drawn outwards towards each of the edges by the wispy parts that are created by blowing the paint all the way down the sides and over each of the edges. I think I'm nearly there. So I'm gonna take you in for a close up of the wet version. And I just wanna show you some of that detail. And I wanna show you how some of that copper really pops through. And I'm hoping that it dries as you see it because I really love the composition of this piece. Remember, so this is just paint and water. So the paint shouldn't really travel over the edges. I've already taken the drips off the edges so it doesn't pull the design down over the sides. I just love that gold. I think you can't fail with a gold, white and black combination. But by having that copper as the other side of the split base color palette, I think it really just sets this piece off. And yeah, I'm really happy with this. I'd love to know what you think. So I'll take you in for a closer look of the dried version. So stick around to the end, just so you can see the results.
Okay, so here's the dried version. Oh, wow. You know what? I love it. I really love the split base of the black and the copper. And just by having a very simple colour palette in the middle and blowing out of the, the gold, the silver and the white really kind of illuminates this piece and really sets it off. And I'm so proud of the cells that have been created very naturally by just using that paint and water combination. I like the perspective and I'm really enjoying the composition. I'm glad I blew some more of that colour over the edges so there wasn't too much of the black negative space but just enough to be able to show it off and show all that detail. Thanks so much for joining me. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. I'd love to know what you think. So drop some comments down below and let me know what you're thinking. Should I do some more of this color combination? Would you like to see some more diptychs? So thank you so much. Have a great week. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.